All right, here we are. Hello, welcome, and namaste. I am the master of, <laughs> sorry, the master of balance, also known as delightful poisoning. <laughs> and welcome, welcome all. How this here is a very fantastic Friday, is it not? I think so. Um, let's see. Thank you, J Harley nine zero three nine for the follow, and thank you, Lord Tragedy, for the follow. Thank you all. Tired love for everyone. So, we're gonna be starting off today with some stream raiders that had an issue <laughs> updating. That's what that exclamation point is up there. It's saying, "Hey, you need to update the game, you moron." And I go, "Okay, I'm gonna do it." And then I try, and then it doesn't work. In fact, it may be messed up entirely now because of that. Okay, well, we'll come back to that when hopefully it's working a little better. All right, we need to repair this entire installation here, but I'm obviously not going to be doing that on stream. We'll fix it later. Okay, so welcome one and all to a brand new party game that I've never played before. It's a little number called GeoGuessr. Hmm. I wonder. Well, it doesn't seem to be. Um, it's called Map XL or something like that. It's a game I've played on a site called Congregate. Uh, it basically says, hey, find me Barcelona or uh, Philadelphia, PA. <laughs> uh, you know, it says find a certain city and then you have to plop it down as close as you possibly can to that geographical location. This one is a little similar. Except what it's going to do, see, loading location. See right here, it'll plop me down in the middle of a world city somewhere on Earth. And now I have to figure out where the flying fuck I am. Uh, based on those kanji over there, I'd say maybe China or is it Vietnam? I'm not sure I would recognize Vietnamese kanji if I were presented with them. So let's see what we can do with this. If we can find some sort of a monument or something that I might recognize or that has a name. Foods Plaza Ishikawa. That sounds Japanese. But that doesn't look like Japanese kanji to me. Then again, I can't say I'm a master of kanji. I just recognize some of them when I see them. I really hope that's not echoing. Oops. <laughs> no one saw that. All right, now, just where am I? See, this is a kind of situation where finding a street sign, like here, might actually be helpful, except that, obviously, I can't read them. See, I'm kind of moving around. It's like 
someone took Google Maps, the street, the street view, and turned it into a game. That's basically what we're doing here. For life. Okay. Um, if we can find this for life hotel. Let's see. That's Korea. Um, Vietnam is down here, right? Though, honestly, I have no reason to suspect that the for life, whatever this is, is in Vietnam or anywhere for that matter. See, it doesn't say specifically where this place is. That's just the only thing I've seen that's in English. So I have to sort of assume based on what I'm seeing, what it might be. Um, and by the way, if I did this correctly, y'all should be able to make your own guesses as to where we are. Let's see. Plasma treat. Okay. Whatever that means. Gotta find something I can work with here. Rogue Hill. Oh, if only any of this was in English. <laughs> If only more of it was in English, or if I could find a park somewhere. Rogue Hill. That would be helpful if I knew that that was in Vietnam or Korea or literally anywhere in Asia, but I don't. Or hell, in Japan for that matter. Love that song. Unfortunately, it seems my sound alerts are messed up again. Just a little bit. Sagawa. That's Japanese, isn't it? I hope that I'm not just making an assumption. Kobayashi, now that's Japanese, I'm pretty sure. So, this makes me think that we're actually in Japan somewhere. Quite possibly in Tokyo. It's a world city, so it could be Tokyo. It looks modern enough to be Tokyo, but honestly, I, I don't keep up with the news of Japan, so I don't know if literally it could be Nagano or Kanazawa I don't know <laughs> just for the sake of moving things along because I'm going to play about five rounds by myself and then we'll see if someone might want to join in and play with me so we're going to guess somewhere in Tokyo and see how close I was hey I actually wasn't that far off. I mean, not as far as I could be, but it's less than a mile. See, this one right here is where I guessed, 1.2 kilometers off. And this is where I actually was. I was in Kajicho. So, on to the next round plop down in some other city. This looks like Vegas, frankly. Mm. 
and look for uh yep well no hold on actually this could be jacksonville florida i think i've actually been to this very location once um let me see no don't go backward no stop it jesus okay but you stop it Grr. Keep going. Okay. Well, let's see. Long Beach. That's definitely in Florida, if I'm remembering correctly. Let me zoom in on Florida and see what we can find here. Let me try Jacksonville. Florida. Do do do. Where in the world is delightful poisoning? <laughs> Long Beach Terrence Terrace Theater. Okay. That's a big fat helpful clue. Um There's also a Weston. Let's see. I guess then it wouldn't be Jacksonville because Long Beach is its own city, is it not? Pretty sure that that is the thing. Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Naples. There's a Naples, Florida? Gasp! No way. Right, this is... We're getting into Jawaja territory. Or is Long Beach, California? Oh, Long Beach is California. Okay. All right. I'm starting to get it. Uh, Long Beach Museum of Art. Right. We just, we saw that landmark over there, the Long Beach Terrace Theater. So, if we can find that, we weren't far from it. When we started, and a Weston, Weston Long Beach, right over here. So we were like right here, right in front of it. Boom! Within 62 yards of the starting location. Thank you very much. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So I think I've said this before, though I'm not sure how much I actually said, because I can't remember. Um, if I've done this correctly, all y'all playing should be able to guess along with me. See all the round two results up there? Everyone should be able to hazard a guess. I don't know how you do that exactly. Um, I think you have to get the map link. Hang on, I'll put it up. There you go. Log in with Twitch, make your guess, and press spacebar. Or paste the command into the chat without editing. Well, there it is. The command is there in the chat. Play, play, my friends. <laughs> and if you're wondering who this, uh, <laughs> the, the name is another schlub. That's how it's pronounced. Um, I... The game advised me, double-decker buses, that would indicate that it's probably in the UK somewhere. Yeah. St. James. Yep, that's that's in London, I believe. Um, there's a statue over here. Maybe, if we can find the statue, it looks like a saint of some sort. Crimea? Who the hell is this? Who or what is this statue signifying? Sydney Hibbert? 
Huh. Okay. Let's uh, zoom in on the old UK over here. Somewhere in London. I believe. I don't know if the these particular statues... Oh my goodness, are those all Boston Market? No, no, those are like street like stop signs of some sort, I think. <laughs> they looked like Boston Market logos for a second there. Um, okay, I think we need a little bit more information. Farlow's? That could be a good one. That's a store, I believe. And if that's the case, then we should be able to use it. Let's see. Paul Mall and Waterloo Place. Well, that means that it must be in Waterloo, one would surmise. Uh, let me see. Waterloo Place. I'm not seeing any streets that are labeled as such at the moment. Let me see here. Bankside Gallery, Shakespeare's Globe. Of course, it could be like this is Waterloo right over here, but it could be on the other side of the Thames. That's what this is, the big river, it's the Thames. Let's see. Admiralty Arc. Great Scotland Yard. Hey, look, a bayonet has appeared in my chat. Not the worst Pokemon to obtain. Mm. I don't think I'm near a bridge at the moment, but I'm also near this other big-ass statue over here. So, perhaps if we go there, we can figure out just where we are. I'm still not seeing a Farlow's anywhere, so let's go this way, see if we can figure out where what's going on. What the hell is this building? It looks like in a big important government building of some sort, but I don't see a label. Is it like a library or something? Give me a sign, man. Or woman. Someone give me a sign. I don't care what your gender is. Just give me a sign. <laughs> Let's see. Sir Keith Park. Okay. Sir Keith Park. Is there a Sir Keith Park near Waterloo? There are a lot of small parks here, and that one looks pretty small. Is this a Sir Keith Park? It's not telling me what this park is! Damn it! Thank goodness this isn't being timed, because I think I'd be pretty screwed right now if it was timed. Do do do. <laughs> At a certain point, I get a little impatient, and I just go, ah, screw it, just guess somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully I'm close enough, you know? But uh, I, I do want to try and do this correctly, in whatever sense correctly applies here. See if I can find these stupid locations. I think I'm clear out of Waterloo at this point. <laughs> um, okay, so here's a Sir Keith Park. Can I find anything else? What's this? Edwards the Seventh? Hmm. I don't know if a statue like that would show up on you know what I also should be looking for is, like, a, a stretch of road on either side of an island like that. 
I don't know if I can find that just looking at a map, but I can try. Let me see. Oh, Paul Mall. That's that's one of the streets that I saw. I saw that. St. James Square. Let's see. Royal Automobile Club. 67 Paul Mall. Um, I'm not seeing that store. What was it? Fos Fosley? Something like that? Oh, Paul Mall and Waterloo Place. That wasn't far from where I was. Let me reset my position. Right? It was Charles II Street and Waterloo Place. If this is Waterloo Place, this is really close to where I was. Um, Carlton House Terrace. No, that's not it. But this looks like the this area right here, the Anthem Club, that Waterloo Gardens. No, that can't be right. Charles the Second Street, right there. So we're somewhere in here. Oh my god, I was six damn yards away. How about that? Six yards, five meters, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. If I wasn't concerned about... um, If I wasn't concerned about... Like, Make guesses yourself. Um, if I've done this correctly, as I said before, okay, that indicates to me that we're in France, right here. The Prefecture de Police. Oui? Yeah, the sound alerts are generally pretty loud, because I want to make sure everyone can hear them. But I can turn that one down. My apologies for that. Hopefully you should be able to hear me now, because there's no music in this game. Let's see. This is a street, so shouldn't there be... Um, oh, here. Rue St. Martin. 4th Avenue? Am I reading that? No, it's... Okay, I don't know what that means. It's like a force. Four asterisk R. <laughs> um, I was asking if your Friday fantas is fantastic or not. I hope it is. Oh, you mean this flag over here? Let's find out. Let me see. There's a collection of flags here. One of them is definitely the French flag. This is a French shield, I think. The other ones are a little crumpled up, so I can't see, but I think one of them might be the European Union. Maybe. Um, there's no shops or anything around here, so we're probably going to have to... I mean, there's a police station, but that doesn't help much. What does this say on the sign? Rue saint Martin. Martin. Yeah, that, that was my assumption. But the question is, where exactly in France are we? Near a river. So, there's that. Um, let me see. Where is France? Um, how many places in France have a little river running through them? Like that. I'm not seeing a lot of them. In fact, just about the only place I see that has a significant river is right about here. Um, if we can find a name of this... Whoa! Okay, we just went underneath the bridge. I did not intend to do that. 
I actually was trying to go atop the bridge. No, no, wrong. Would you stop going under the bridge, you stupid program? Jesus Christ. Okay. Hopefully now I can stay uh, on top, <laughs> on above ground, and see if there's a name of this bridge. Because that'll make things a whole lot easier. No, don't send me back here. No. I do not want to go back to that location. God, no. Okay. Would you stop that? Jesus Christ. Why does it keep sending me back to the same damn location? I hate that. We need to work on that. They being the developers. Alright, what does this say? Notre Dame is that away. Can we see it from here? Nope. Not quite tall enough to see Notre Dame. But we're a hop, skip, and a jump from Notre Dame. So that's in Paris, isn't it? Where did Paris go? Here it is. I, I learned the locations of a number of things <laughs> playing this game. Like, there's the Arc de Triomphe. I did that one the other night when I was setting this whole thing up. There's the Eiffel Tower, or the Tower Eiffel. Tower, Tower, French. Um, does anyone happen to know where exactly Notre Dame is because I know that it's in France um, and I thought that it was in Paris but maybe I'm wrong <laughs> some per some French person is going to come in and be like oh you stupid American you don't know what the fuck you're doing <laughs> and I'd be like you are correct sir <laughs> I, I do not know what I'm doing because I don't know where that flying fuck Notre Dame is. Bad American. Bad. Bad. <laughs> okay. It's got to be around here somewhere. One would think. Oh, there's another river. See? Uh. Do, do, do. Really? There's no. There's nothing. No sign or anything indicating what the name of this bridge is? I would have thought there would be something here. That person looks like they're running across the street and about to get creamed by those motorcycles. Near the Pantheon. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Pantheon is in Italy, my friend. But perhaps that's part of the joke, huh? Hotel de Ville? Uh, that's a landmark that I could potentially locate. Hopefully, sometime in the next century. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, go east a little bit. More than that. Uh, sorry, what I was saying, I, when, I, when I think about it, I was thinking... Uh, Oh, I'm going west. I'm sorry. I always get those confused. Um, I wonder if the map of um, the city with Notre Dame and uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame was accurate, or if they were just BSing. <laughs> Let's see. There's a little bit of river, but I feel like it's a wider body of water than that. Hey, look, a McDonald's. <laughs> if we were near a McDonald's, then I'd know exactly where we would be. <laughs> that is the perfect indication of where people are. Okay, so this one right here, this is the symbol that we're looking for. Um, I build near Paris. Because this one indicates that it's some kind of hotel or motel or, you know. Sorry, I need to reset on Paris for a second here. Um, and it could be down here. Let's see. Pullman Paris Center Bercy. 
I hope that I said that correctly. I have no idea how the French pronounce that. Let's see. I'm not seeing it. Hotel. Oh, there's one. Not the one we're looking for, but there, there it is. I can't even be sure, certain that this is the correct river. Because there's another one over here. I feel like we need more information. I also wish that I could just, like, use the arrow keys. And, uh... Oh, no! <laughs> We're back here again! No! I refuse to go back there. That's right. There is a police station near the, uh, the river, wherever the fuck we are. So... Maybe if we can find a police station. There's a hospital. Hospital. Oui. Go this way. Thank you. Where? Oh, where? Where in the world is our us? Where in the world are we? <laughs> I'm going to take a chance. and This seems like a street corner. Let's see. Croix de la Cour. Okay. I'm not even sure where that is. I'm still not sure where Notre Dame is. My good friend Gerth here said to go east a little bit. Oh, there is a Pantheon in France. Look at that. So, you said that the... Uh... Learning all kinds of shit today. Find the Eiffel Tower and go east. Okay, I saw. I, I know where the Eiffel Tower is. It's over here. So let's see. One of these landmarky type things, I think, indicates, or is it this one? Pont de Arts, Uh, uh let's see. La Centre Pompidou. Pompidou. Uh, what was that symbol? Uh, it looks like a little castle. Oh, you saw it? Under the hospital? Under this hospital. Oh, there it is. Yes, you're right. Okay, so if it was... Let me reset my position. So this sign over here somewhere indicated that Notre Dame is that away, and we're facing southwest. So if that's the case, let's see, we're facing south and west, right? So it would stand to reason that we're over here somewhere, maybe right here. I'm going to guess right here. Oh, yeah! Within 15 yards of the location. Boom! That's not terrible. That is not terrible. By the way, Girth, uh, here, let me share this with you. This should allow you to play along. And guess where we are. Um, geez, I'm not sure about this location. I'm guessing that it's somewhere in Spain or perhaps South America. Fruteria Civico di 
Dominicolo. Oh. Like the Dominican Republic in Cuba? So that could actually be in Cuba somewhere. This. This could be in Cuba. I need to find somewhere. Somewhere! Whoop. Hello, what's this? Casa Las Lastra? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, actually, this could indeed be Mexico, too, I think. I have no ristorante. Oh, you know what? That, that makes me think that it's actually Italian. Ristorante. I don't know if that's how they do it in Spanish, but... Although, in Italian, I think ristorante is uh, spelled with an I. Ricocion? No, that seems like it's Spanish, not Italian. Let me see. Cale, cale de Olmo? Oil? Hmm. Very interesting. If only we could find some sort of famous landmark somewhere. Or something that's at least recognizable. This way, perhaps. Thank you. I'm trying to find, follow some of the, grr, <laughs> some of the major streets here. Let's see if we can find like a big city or something. Hell, a statue would be good. Gamos. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Hmm. This is definitely a tough one. Oh, girth guest. <laughs> Within 9,000 kilometers. <laughs> You got a grand total of three points! Way to go! I'm glad the guessing is working, though. Where are we? In, like, Barcelona? There are a lot of shops, but none of them that I recognize. And most of these are not in English. Hello, what's this? U-N-E-D? Is that a bank? What is that? Whoops. Nope. I wanted to go forward. Forward, forward. Keep going forward. Thank you. Found some sort of a town square type thing happening here. Drama. I guess you did. Must have. Uh, Centro National. Pietro Valley Insulam? Hmm. I feel like that's a great indication of where we are, if only I could speak the language. <laughs> Let me see here. There's got to be a better indication of where the hell... We are. If I could at least get an indication, like an address. Let's 
some of these businesses, they might have an address on them or something. Yeah, it doesn't seem... <laughs> you only get one guess. I can change that setting, though, if you prefer it that way, and I can allow you to change your guess. I guess I can only go a certain... I can't go down this street for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, yes I can. Well, that was stupid. Restaurante Portman? Sure, go ahead. Why not? It's there. Um, where? This way? Urban and eco-friendly logistics. Why the hell is that in English? The box truck? You mean this one over here? There's a couple of those kinds of trucks around. This one has a number. Six three zero. Jeez, where? <laughs> I wish I knew my area codes a little better now. Whoops. Oh God. Traversing this location in this manner is not as easy as it looks. Biblioteca? That means it's a library, right? Uh, it could be Madrid. It also could be somewhere in Mexico. Or Central America. I honestly have no clue at this juncture. That's why I'm looking at all these vans and stuff. Hopefully there's an address. Okay, that's not helpful. These pictures are taken at different dates. So this one over here, this truck over here, is not is there but then if i go over here it's gone that's bs do i see any eu plates well first of all damn the man thank you very much for joining and second of all uh i haven't actually looked at the plates yet uh let's see if i can even do that some of them that one seems to be blurred out right there so i don't know if that's that plate idea is going to be helpful for us. Let's see if this car... Yeah, all the plates seem to be blurred. I don't think that's going to help. Blue on the left. Yeah, I don't see any... anything like that. What does all this biz say? Oh, it's a big, long quote in Spanish that I'm not familiar with. Super normales. Hmm. Which one? And also, how can you tell? They're all blurred. The Good Burger. IBIS Budget. Is 
See, I mean, this one looks blue, but that could be like an out-of-town one. Oop, did I go backwards or forwards just now? I don't even know. I'm going to reset for a second. Maybe go. Whoops. Well, if you can, then you have quite the talent, sir, but I can't see a damn thing through that blur. Especially from a distance like this. See, there's nothing there. I guess it could be white with blue trim. I, I don't know. The Mylar? There's a number of stores, but I don't know where those stores are specifically on the planet. You know, I don't know if that's in Mexico or Madrid or any of these places. So that just makes things tougher, doesn't it? Uh, Teatro Abalo? Anyone know where that is? Like an Apollo theater in Italy or Spain or somewhere? That's what it sounds like. Domain on which big sign? I don't see another sign. Unless you mean one of these signs over here. Well, there's a number of signs. It's a uh, There's a lot of language. Yeah, which would mean that it's in Spanish, right? A Spanish website? I would assume so, but that could still be a number of places, including South America. There's a hostel over here, which would be nice if I could figure out where the flying fuck that is. Honestly, if I could have a river or something, <laughs> something that I can recognize. I don't recognize a damn thing. It's kind of cool to see wherever this is. Oh, here we go. Pisa de la Ceba. Did I say that right? Where's that? I don't know where that is. Any ideas? people. I am open to suggestions at this point. <laughs> oh. I'll take a little, a little sippy sip of. What is checking the sun going to do? <laughs> That's not going to give me an indication of where it is. And plus these pictures are taken at different times. So if the sun is right up there, for example, in this picture, if I move this way, it could be somewhere else. Well, yeah, but we don't really need that for help. There's a compass right up here. Unless you're talking about which hemisphere. I don't think that's going to help much. Or northern hemisphere, you're saying. So, you think it's probably in Spain somewhere?
I'm still not completely 100% on that logic there, but all right. I'm open to the possibility at this point, because I don't know where the hell we are. <laughs> at this point, I'm just kind of th thinking, hanging it up and guess somewhere. Oh, is that right? Okay. If you say so. That's true. It is. But I still don't see how you can determine that from the position of the sun. Damn, there's so many shops here, but I can't possibly determine where I am because of a shop. Uh, if only any of these places said something de Barcelona. <laughs> that would be very helpful. Huh. It's still a 602 area code. Where the flying fuck is that? Normally I wouldn't be interested in googling what a 602 area code is, but at this point I'm getting kind of desperate, so. Where is it? Give me a hint. Sweet and dandy. Wait, hold on, back up. This looks almost like a bulletin board. Sanko, president. Just make a guess with your gut. I think my second guess is close, but Abby, my first guess was very far. Yeah, I mean, I may have to at this point. I'm going to say that we're in Spain. Um, let's see, where are we in Spain? It looks like a pretty dense area, so maybe somewhere in Madrid. Do do do. It's a pretty urban area, it looks like. So, uh, let's try right here. Why not? I was actually not that far. How about that? We were actually down here near Plaza Mayor. That's incredible. I don't know how I managed that, but I wasn't too far off. Nice. Okay. Here's the summary of where we were. We were in Japan and California, the United Kingdom, France, and in Spain, near Madrid. All right, so uh, now let's uh, pick somewhere else to go. Why don't we vote on it? We can do, uh, there's a daily challenge. We can do explorer mode, or we can play in a specific place like Canada or famous places that might make things a little easier. There's also playing with friends. I don't know how that works, but they've also got an app, this GeoGuessr here, so maybe we can do it that way. I don't know how that's going to affect my uh, viewer account and everything, but we're figuring it out as we go here. I'm going to run a quick ad. Uh, we'll discuss what to do next, okay? I would assume that it doesn't, but it really is not a concern of mine. Hmm. 
That's good. I like GeoGuessers though. GeoGuessr though. More official maps. Let's see what we got. Got United Kingdom. We got Japan, Russia, the Netherlands, India. Do we have Italy? I like Italy. In duels. Well, that's pretty good, Dan the Man, but I don't, I'm not really concerned with c competitive play. Oh, there's the duels right there. My only concern is playing and having some fun with you guys, with my viewers. So, should we go to a specific place? Maybe do Europe? I think, I mean, there's got to be... Winning can be fun, but you know what? Goofing around and having fun doesn't need to involve winning, necessarily. Although, I must say, I've been doing pretty good with my guesses so far today. How is Japan easy? Or is it all Tokyo? I don't know. I don't understand that. What do we think, everyone? Is there a specific place we'd like to go, or just do... One with the whole world involved. I'm thinking maybe Italy or the European Union. That might be fun. And then there's Denmark. Ireland might be kind of fun. I've always wanted to see more of Ireland. New York City. That would be kind of interesting to do the entirety of New York. <laughs> like only New York, though. Croatia, Greece, Hungary, Austria, Colombia, Israel. I mean, there's a ton of countries, obviously. This is like the whole world here. Um, or do we want to go a little bit easier and do famous places? What do we think? If I don't hear some feedback in a second here, I'm just going to go with Italy. <laughs> Because that's where I want to go. Ugh. Oh, that's good. Damn, that's good tea. I'll give it about 30 more seconds. I'm waiting for some feedback from everyone. To say where we go and where we're going to be making our guesses. Because otherwise, I will choose for us. For I am the streamer! Oops. That was the wrong page. I could do this all day. Alright. No feedback heard. Let's go to Italy. No time limit and moving aloud. Can you imagine if I just had to sit here and go, Duh, where am I? Oh shit, that would be terrible. Utterly terrible. Nice little pastoral setting in Italy. Somewhere. It's a little like mountain road. There's some mountains in Italy, right? Let me maybe go up higher on the road. Going eastward, that's where I'm going. There are a number of sheep and goats, apparently, around here. Maybe near Naples. I think Naples has a lot of livestock, if I'm not greatly mistaken, which I could be. <laughs> There's... Not a lot here that indicates where we are and where we might be going. <laughs> that sign is an arrow. That's it. 
That's all we got to go on. <laughs> Not helpful. Guess we just gotta keep moving. That's like a little trail, like a foot trail. I don't know if that's the best way to go. Um, hey, look, there's a shadow of the Google van mapping this out in the first place. Let's head west this time and down the mountain. Hey, Ruby Magic, what's up? I'm doing all right. How are you? <laughs> Sensei, I remember that title. <laughs> I seem to recall being called that a couple of times. How are you today? I hope you're having a fantabulous Friday. Where the hell am I now? I'm confused. I'm doing all right. I'm just lost as hell. I'm somewhere in Italy. That's all that I know. I'm in some sort of mountainous region of Italy. Or foothills, or something. Something like that. And, uh, you should be able to, um, play along, too. So, feel free to join in and make a guess. You'll only be able to guess once. But, uh, you know, go ahead and guess. Are we near Florence? Where the hell is Naples? That's what I want to know. Naples is down here. Um, based on the terrain that we're seeing, I feel like it might not be Naples. It's too close to the ocean. And there's not enough mountains. And foothills. <laughs> well, I guess um, certain sections of Italy do look similar to Oregon, but... It is, in fact, Italy. I chose Italy specifically because I wanted to go to Italy. That is where our road trip is taking us today. I'm just trying to get... It's Southern Sun. Um, by the logic of um, Damn the Man, that means that I mean, it's obviously Northern Hemisphere, duh, because it's Italy, but there's nothing around here to indicate just where in Italy we are. It's just a lonely mountain road somewhere. I don't even have a sign like this to go SR578, which would be so, so helpful. I'm just going to keep moving down the mountain for a little bit, and hopefully I find something that indicates where I am. Keep going. Keep going. Got to make it down this mountain. No, yeah, I got that. <laughs> Believe it or not... There's only one person that actually calls me sensei. Janano? Is that a place? I don't know where Janano or Caputo, Caputo might be. What? Ah! We may have left Italy entirely. Oh shit. Whoops. Back to Italy. Back to Italy. Good God. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did my mouse die? I think my mouse died. What is up with you, silly mouse? What the hell is this gunk on my hands? Where did that come from? Oh yeah, I think my mouse is dead. That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to do this entirely with my... With my built-in mouse now. Inconvenient. 
Go, 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 go. Whoop. Forma formata cita. No idea what that means. It's one of the only, whoop, hello. No, so that those are definitely towns, names of towns or something. Caputo. What was the other one? Janamo. I I don't think I can. Oh, there it is. There's a zoom in button. Excellent. Janano. I think so. Oh, there's another sign over here. And pointing back the way I came. Stiliano, I think, is what it says. That still could be just about anywhere, because I don't recognize the names of those places in Italy. I hope you're not driving while watching me, because that would not be a good idea. But, uh... Thanks for joining in regardless. Appreciate it. I'm still thinking it's in the mountain range here. Probably. If anyone happens to see any of the names that I've been trying to find here, then do let me know. Not seeing them so far. Alright, there's like a mountain road, but it's super curvy. Kind of like this one, a little bit. Well, in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and make a guess. Wow, I wasn't even close. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my, I guessed way up here, and we're way down here in wherever the hell this is. God damn, that's, that's pretty bad. Alright, next round, still in Italy. Ticelle. Okay then. I can get an indication of which city we're in. That would be a helpful start. There's an Ikea. So there's that. <laughs> uh... I don't know. I, I don't think that's going to be terribly helpful to know that there's an Ikea in the general vicinity. Unless it says Ikea of wherever we are. That might help. Hold on. I'm zooming in here. Bravanel. Pizzeria. Trattoria. I'm not sure what that means. Not even seeing any street signs or anything. Currently. And this whole blocked off section doesn't help. Whoop. Gotta keep looking. Ah, blurry. It's so blurry. Stop blurring things with your blur. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? What's this? Huh. Luman? La Stratison? Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> kind of do wish that I could read Italian at this point and see what the hell they're talking about. But I can't. That phone number is weird. That is a, supposed to be a phone number, isn't it? Pretty sure. <laughs> Here's a street. They typically have street names on the buildings in Europe. Corso? Franny? Francia? I don't know if Corso might be related to the town that we're in right now. It's difficult to say. Studio Lumen. Is there a... That's the second time I've seen that. <laughs> Girth made a guess and was over a thousand kilometers off. Way to go on that one. Right? So I wonder if Lumen is... Somewhere in Italy, Nietzsche, Nietzsche, Geneva. Oh, whoops, Liechtenstein. That's not in Italy. <laughs> nope. That's not what we're looking for. Naples. It's not down here near the tip of the toe, is it? Palermo, Palermo. <laughs> Dang it. I done guessed, and I was wrong. What a surprise. I don't know. I'm going to guess, too, because... Oh, wow. I was 406 miles off. Closer than... Girth, but still pretty far off. It's up here in Turin, apparently. Jesus. That's pretty bad. <laughs> you are further south than that? Jeez. This is a pretty tough game when you're, you know... There are certain spots, like I did a test run, a test round, and... Um, you know, I think it was famous landmarks. I had one near Big Ben. I had one, uh, in Times Square. I got really fucking close in Times Square. But these ones are a lot more difficult because, like, they're in Italy, so there's nothing... I can't even tell what city it is. And even if I could, I don't know where that city is necessarily, unless it's a famous city in Italy. Hey, angry Ginja Ninja. Not much, just traversing the world. Welcome. I hope you're having a most fantastic Friday. Essential? Is that what that said? It's the first time I've ever played this game. Um, by the way, um, Girth has been doing it for a while, so you should be able to. Um, guess yourself. Via Roma? So Rome is that way, according to that sign, I think. Or you can go through Rome that way, so it's east of here. Um, and if Rome is east, then we're probably west of Rome. 
sound reasoning there. But where? A centro. I wish I knew just what the hell that meant. Flumentepido seems to be the uh, street name here, but I'm not sure. Aeropuerto. <laughs> international of Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, the International Airport of Leo. That would make it a lot easier to determine where we are, probably. At least we'd be in the goddamn ballpark. Let's see. Casa Cantiorina? 2014? Jesus, Google, you gotta update your shit, man. <laughs> That's literally, like, over seven years ago. These houses are kind of pretty. It reminds me of these houses in uh, Henderson, Nevada, that I used to go to with my family when we would celebrate Passover. I had some family members who were not able to travel so much. Well, you know what? I was thinking, whoops, back up. I was thinking that Flumen, Flumen Tepido right here was a street name, but maybe it's actually the name of a city or a town. But where might it be? Right? We surmise that it might be east, because Rome was to the west, or something like that. I don't know. Guessing now. Well, I could have been closer, but at least I got a few points. <laughs> 271 miles. It was, uh, wow, way over here in this island. That's not fair. God damn it. All right. So, now where are we? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? taking a bit of a risk by even singing that song. I'm going to upload this video to YouTube later, and I'm sure they're not going to like the fact that I was singing that. Then again, some of the songs that I've got, like as sound alerts, they don't seem to care, and some of them they do. It's very strange. Let's see. There's a hotel. Not a specific hotel, but a hotel. Can I maybe get over here and look at that truck? Whoops. Back over to Italy. Thank you. Ferroviare? Hmm. Wait, there's like a city sign over here, I think, is what that is. I hope it has nothing to do with parking. Let's see what it says. Tutti e giorni. Hey, Miss V Fire, what's up? I hope you like Italy, because here we are in Italy. And I appreciate the lurk. I hope one day that you'll actually have time or whatever to participate. 
you should be able to guess where the hell we are. I am hoping that there's an address here on some of these places. Oh, but it's too blurry. I can't read it. Shit. Is having an address that says, you know, it's whatever street. Uh, I'm not much better. I mean, we've we've been getting miles and miles away from the correct guess here. <laughs> Honestly, I'm much better at guessing, like, uh, more famous landmarks than guessing some random place in some random part of Italy. There's a telephone number there. Right there. Um, 045. Is that the area code? I don't know. It's hard to tell with an Italian... Uh, phone number because you know in at least in America all the numbers are separated properly not so much here so I'm not sure if that's the area code or not and even if it were I'm not sure where that area code might indicate that we are Pardon me blowing my nose on stream. I'm so ashamed. Let me see. Gotta figure it out. They don't. They don't put an area code in in Italy. What does this sign say? This might be helpful. Romia Strata? Romia. Oh boy. It's a phone number without an area code. Well, that's not helpful. Well, there's a street sign. That might be helpful. A little bit. At least then we'd get a street around here. Let's see. John D. Ambrosini. Okay. Sorry, did I say John? I meant Don. Don G. Don G. Ambrosini. Okay, so there's one indicator of where we might be. It says Caldiero is five, I'm assuming, kilometers. Ruby Magic has returned. Welcome back. And Verona is 22 kilometers uh, northwest. Or is it straight up west? It's west by northwest, it seems. So where might that be? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> Missing us being lost is holy hell. Um, if you happen to know where Verona is in Italy, that would be a big help, because I'm not sure. Oh, there it is, Verona. Okay, so Verona is west by northwest of our location, and it's 22 kilometers, which I'm not sure where that might be. So let's see if this way is west, right? So, are all these white things? It's almost straight up west, so I'm going to guess that we're kind of in... Uh, actually, it says San Bonif Bonificio. Do we see a San Bonificio around here? San Rocco de Pigera. Pijara. That's close. San Giovanni. There's another San. 
It's around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. San Bonificio. I found it. I found it. All right. Now, there was a restaurant. Let me reset my position here. There was a restaurant not far from here. Um, maybe over here. Tatoria al Chiostro. Chiostro? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's it's in here somewhere. Can you do can I do Oregon? I don't know if I can do Oregon specifically, but I can do in the US. If they've got an Oregon map, I can maybe search for it after we're done with Italy, and we can do that. We can give it a shot. See, because lots of the maps, the, the majority of the maps that I've seen are uh, more broad than that, you know? So it's not like a specific region of Italy. It's the entirety of Italy or the entirety of the Euro European Union. Hey, Girth, that was a good guess, man. Off by 19 kilometers. That is not very far given the scope of our our stuff here. Um, where is that raid ping? There it is. All right. Right? Totally. Oh, I forgot. My mouse is dead. Okay. Let's zoom in and see if we can find this restaurant here. Kebab Pizza. Uh, Creme Cafe. Restaurante Al Porlo. Porolo. Porolo. There's also a hotel right here, but I don't know where it is exactly let's see the public i'm gonna say that we're right near here let's see if i did better than girth it looks like i might have i was within 901 yards i guessed over here we're actually over here near what appears to be a highway. That's not too terrible. Could have done better, but I could have done a lot worse. Oh no! Oh no! Not another mountain region! Shit! No! I don't like mountain regions. They're so hard to guess. There's nothing here. Not a goddamn thing. That would help to indicate where we are and where we are going. Fuck. I don't like it at all. I would actually love to be here, like, in person. But when I'm doing this on stream and trying to guess where I am, uh, no, not so much. It's very lush and green. That makes me think that maybe it might be Naples. They're known for wine stuff, right? That looks like a vineyard. It doesn't have any vines or anything, but that kind of looks like a vineyard to me. Um, if anyone happens to see a sign or something that can help indicate where we are, please do shout it out in the chat. Use all caps, because I need help. <laughs> I don't know where the hell we are or how I'm going to find out where we are because I see no signs. I see no signs. I see nothing. Nothing but lush greenery, which actually is quite lovely. It's beautiful, man. It brings out the inner hippie in me. That having been said, once again, it's very annoying trying to guess where we are based on nothing 
Like, I seriously, I don't even see a road sign or anything. I've been traveling almost straight up west, though, as I've been going along looking for any indication whatsoever of where the flying fuck I am. There's a tiny little indicate, a tiny little um, electric pole here. So that's something. Where in the world are we right now? Oh, we're coming up on a city. Or a little town. A little villa, perhaps. Well, we got a little bit of something here. Still no signs, conveniently enough. Oh, what's this? Whoops. Went too far that way. Okay, can we zoom in enough to see? There are many words on this sign. Um, I'm seeing Paone. So I'm wondering if that might be the name of the city or the town, possibly. What happens if I try to zoom in from here? Nope. It doesn't really help a lot. Okay. Let me keep looking. Uh, unfortunately, it was like the only indication that I saw of where we might be in Italy. I'm not seeing any other street signs or... I didn't even see a sign coming into this little villa saying, hey, welcome to blankety blank blank. Whoop, hold on, go back, back up. What's this now? There's a number of signs here. Anniversario. Lorenzo Giornari. Let's see, 1600, Pantaleon, Pantaleon, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know where the flying fuck that is, but it also, it, it once again seems to be in a mountainous region in Italy, maybe near Turin, I don't know. For the sake of time, I'm going to just hazard a guess somewhere. Oh, not even close. 618 miles off. It was way down here at the tip of the boot. Dear Lord, I never would have guessed that. Okay, then. Let's see. A new medal for Italy. Cool. Yay me. Now, um, game breakdown, please. Thank you. <laughs> Several of my guesses were way the fuck off, but, I mean, come on. Like, they were giving me us zero indication of where the hell they were. Except for some places, you know. Like, this one up here near Verona. And now I know where the hell Verona is, so that's kind of cool. Um, let me do a search here. Um, hey, uh... Ruby, are you still there? Did you want Portland, Oregon specifically, or do you want just Oregon? We've we've got different regions of Oregon. U U A. What does that mean? Let's see what kind of results we've got for maps. We've got. I say full U.S. Well, I appreciate that, Girth, but um, Ruby did request Oregon specifically. 
so you want all of Oregon? Um, we can do all of Oregon. Let's do this one for Oregon and see if we can get even half of them correct. Okay. We're in a forest in the middle of Oregon. How fun is that? Let's head southwest and see if we can find a street sign or something. <laughs> Are you having fun guessing stuff? Because I am. <laughs> oh, so much fun. Christ, this is a long road. Oh, wait, there was a street sign there. Oh, not a helpful street sign. Moving on. Do you know where we are, Ruby? Because I got to say, I'm pretty fucking lost here. Is there like a specific um forest? Maybe up here and... Oh, but we could be in this forest. There are, by my count... Six? Six national forests? Nope. I'm sorry, seven national forests. And we could be in any single one of them. Oh, fun. Although, I will point out that our road is pretty damn straight. Like, it hasn't curved at all since I started. So, maybe we're in Susla National Forest over here? It could also be Willamette National Forest in this road up here. Not sure at this juncture. Once again, I hope my pronunciation is okay, but I'm getting the distinct impression that it's not. Uh, here's a road sign. That gives us something. Deer... Uh, Deer Circle Road? Did it, is that what I'm seeing? Hold on. Can I can I go over here? I would like to go over here. Oh, there it is. Deer Circle Road. Is that how you say it, Ruby? Are you familiar with a Deer Circle Road? I'm pretty sure that's the abbreviation for for circle. Fairly certain. Let's see, an east to west um, road that's fairly straight. That's what we're looking for at this point, I think. Maybe in Malheur National Forest over here, right up along here. That looks a little too curvy. Deer Cycle Road, okay. Do you know which forest that happens to be in? Is that a sign over there? It is, but I can't read it from here because it won't let me go down this trail. Damn you. I'm going to have to keep going southwest. Let's see. Where's a road that might be going southwest that's fairly straight? Not a clue on the forest it's in. Join the club. We've got jackets. I mean, I imagine that everything from Portland to Eugene is a little more developed than this. I haven't seen any uh, water, so I'm pretty sure we're not in Susla National Forest over here. I think we're further east than that. But I don't fucking know. Well, there's another sign. What does this say? Diamond Lake Junction in one-fourth of a mile. Diamond Lake. Does that sound familiar, Ruby? Because I don't know a Diamond Lake. I'm not sure I could even spot a lake on this map, necessarily. I see a couple of bodies of water that could maybe qualify as a lake. Let's see. It's not down here, right? See, there's 
Crescent Lake Junction, Diamond Peak. Oh, there's Diamond Lake. There it is. I see it. And we've been heading southwest, but I feel like it's around here somewhere. Right? Because that's, whoops, that's what the sign, back up. Where'd it go? There it is, Diamond Lake. And we're facing almost expressly southwest, right? So that would be southwest. Um, maybe we're actually up here in Gilcrease Crescent. So, because we've been heading southwest on a fairly straight stretch of road, and then it said something about a junction. So we could actually be down here near... Tumult? Tumult? Make your guesses now, people, because I'm about to make my guess. I think we're pretty damn close here. I don't know exactly how far I've gone, though. Right? It said a quarter of a mile, which is like this much. So I think we're up here, probably. Somewhere on Highway 97. I'm making my guess now. Ooh, not quite. Um, we were going southwest, so I thought that it was that we were up north, but I was wrong. The junction we were going, uh, we were going down this way. I thought, which is weird because it said Diamond Lake was uh. The junction was one-fourth of a mile, so we must have actually been going northward. Maybe? I don't know. But still, uh, 36 miles, it's better than what we were doing in Italy. And now here's another one. Well, it appears as though we're near a lake. So, that's a good indication of where we might be. Let's see if we can run around and find a sign or something that indicates which lake it is. Does this look familiar, Ruby? I must say, the greenery is quite lovely up here. Not unlike Italy, but with more pine trees. We're heading straight up north right now. Around <laughs> you're nine hundred and thirteen kilometers off, Girth. That's hilarious. <laughs> Where were you even guessing? <laughs> um, I'm not even sure if this is a lake. Is this like a cove or something? Let's see. There is a lake. One of these lakes has a road. Looks like I've seen it before. Okay. So that's good to know. Um, I am in Oregon, right? Oregon. Okay. Now, what I'm looking for, there's a lake here that has a road that's traveling up its north bank. Well, I'm traveling north, so it's really its east bank, isn't it? Or is it west? It's west. It's the west bank. So let's see if there's a body of water kind of like this. That's what this looks like. It looks kind of like this. A road that we're traveling along like that. So maybe we're right along here. Nope! <laughs> Turns out we were down here. Damn, that's that's a bummer. That's unfortunate. All right, next round. <laughs> what a surprise! A bunch of trees. Ugh! Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, so we're in the middle of a... Okay, so northwest, let's go. No, 
northwest and we're sort of turning west. So we're starting to head towards the coast a little bit, but the curve is continuing. So now we're going south. I guess it zoomed me into Canada. <laughs> Whoops. There's a, a road sign here, so I'd like to take a look at that. Nope. Just indicating a curve and that it, you should be going 50 miles an hour instead of 75 or whatever. Hey, Booch, what's up? Welcome to some location in Oregon. Feel free to guess where we might be. Here, let me give you the map link. Ba bing. And now you can help us guess where the flying fuck we might be. We're somewhere in Oregon because a good friend of mine named Ruby Mad Hatter. Who are we stalking? Yep, we're stalking all the viewers today. Going pretty much entirely west, which is interesting. But I am still not sure where. I bet you would, Booch. I bet you would. See? Ruby Magic requested to do Oregon specifically, so here we are. Doing Oregon specifically. Damn it, why is that sign blurred? That's not helpful. God damn it. Speaking of signs, I'm coming up on one. Let's see. What does this say? To report road hazards. Well, that's not helpful at all. Not even a little bit. And I keep traveling west by northwest. Let's see if we can find any slight indication of where we might be. Come on, a road sign, something. Got to help me out here. What does this say? Tillamook Forest Center. Okay. I don't think I saw that particular. <laughs> yeah, P-Catch, that's like the, uh, the uh, Discord game. <laughs> uh, Tillamook Forest? I saw many forests in... Oregon here, but I'm not sure Tillamook was among them. Hey, Penta, what's up? And Ask Geo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. We are currently somewhere in Oregon near a Tillamook Forest, wherever that is. And uh, we're trying to figure out just where specifically we might be. Try to getting as guess as close as we possibly can. Well, maybe now you'll learn a little bit of U.S. geography. How fun is that? I learned a little bit of... Oh, well, you just missed it. We were in Italy a little while ago doing that. That was fun. For the most part, I had no idea where the fuck I was. But I did figure out a couple of things every once in a while. Are we still in Oregon? This is Eugene, so it should be Oregon. Okay. I would assume Rome would be fun. Let's see. Maybe the issue is that it's not a national forest. Right, this Tillamook Forest, wherever it is. See, Sun Pass State Forest. That could be where it is. But, uh... Why does Tillam... Tillamook, excuse me. It was named Eugene. Why? Because it's probably named after some famous Eugene that had some... hand in discovering it or some shit like that. Tillamook is near the ocean? 
Okay. Is this it? Or is this that other national forest? That's what it looks like. It's the national forest. Um, I haven't even seen an indication of which highway we're on right now. I hope I haven't left Oregon just now. This should be the state line, I think, for Oregon. Let me zoom in out a little bit more and make sure. Yep, right down here. Gareth made a guess, and he was damn close. Wow, that's pretty good. Did you find Tillamook there, Gareth? Because I still can't find it. Tillamook. If I could at least find a sign that told me which highway we were on, I would appreciate that. But I uh, can it. I mean, that's not a bad guess given how good. You got within 20 kilometers of it, which is not a no mean feat <laughs> in this particular in this particular game. And Ask Geo is also pretty damn close. Going to reset here for a second. Go southeast and see if I can find something that indicates where we are and what we're doing here. At least if I can get the number of the highway, then I can probably get close. What does this say? Elm Creek? That with that? Sorry, I, I just want to make sure that I'm reading that correctly. No, Elk Creek Campground. Okay. Where's Elk Creek? <laughs> Ruby! Help me! Where's Elk Creek? I see Willow Creek. We have a Willow Creek here in Colorado as well. Sacramento. Oh, shit. I went all the way down into California there for a second. <laughs> My bad. Let's see. Salem, Oregon. Oh, Tillamook. There it is. We're somewhere here in the state forest. I'm guessing a random location. Ooh! I was the furthest from it, but I was Damn close. Um, asked, I would love to do that, but I'm going to be raiding out as soon after we finish this particular round. So I'm terribly sorry about that. But if you'll join me, if you all enjoyed this, and I will go ahead and do this real quick. Um, new poll, new poll. And start. It can be hard. It really depends on where we are. You know, in the middle of a forest in Oregon, of course that's going to be difficult. But 
If we were in, say, downtown Manhattan, that's a lot easier. Because there are all kinds of street signs and stores and shit like that that you can go, oh, we're near Macy's, uh, near Times Square in New York, you know? That's a fuck ton easier than some forest in the middle of Oregon. Seriously, like, this is most difficult part. But, you know, it, it just depends. Like, we are honoring my friend Ruby's request to do Oregon specifically. Hell yeah, we like some. We like our some GeoGuessr. All right. Well, I we won't be playing it next week, but um, sometime in the future we'll definitely play this again. And especially if I can get some loyalty, um, yeah, loyalty-free music, that would be amazing that I could do that. We're heading southeast right now on some road in Oregon. Trying to find a street sign or a mile indicator or something like that. What the hell is that? I, I don't even know. It's like some sort of a measurement device, but I don't know what it is. It's a pretty curvy road, all told. Oh, pardon me. Come on, baby. Give me something. <laughs> Give me something to work with here. That's the problem with this game. You can only travel so far so fast, you know? So I don't even know how far I've gone from my original location. Here's a random guess that's 500 kilometers off. Almost 550. Yeah, Ruby, go ahead. Ask away, my friend. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> it's driving me insane. Completely and utterly mental. Oh my god, we are still in the forest with no signs, no road signs, no indication of where we are whatsoever. Maddening! Okay, I'm going to reset my position. I went that way that time, I think. So I'm going to try the opposite direction for a moment. See if we can find where we are in a little bit more easily, I hope. There's a sign right here. Nope. Can you shout out my Twitch channel? Uh, well, you know, I would totally do that, but I don't normally do shout outs unless I get uh bits or something. Caves Creek Campground? Let's see. That's going to be, I'll tell you what, I will shout out your Twitch channel if you can help me find Caves Creek. <laughs> you help me do that and you will get yourself a shout out. Where are you, Caves Creek Campground? I see a little river running through here. So my assumption is that it's around here somewhere. Oh, Oregon has a Castle Rock too? That's cool. There's a Castle Rock in Colorado. It's a more mountainous area. Um, 
Where are you, Caves Creek? Here, Caves Creek. There's Trout Creek. No shot. I went against my gut and would have been so close. It's near the Oregon Caves. And where is that? <laughs> where are the Oregon Caves? You must remember that I don't know this area, like, at all. Past the stoplight. That is not a helpful way to describe where it is, Ruby. Not terribly helpful, my friend. Oops. Got up into Washington. My bad. Right? It's a quarter mile to this Caves Creek campground. Maybe if I keep going down towards the campground, I can find a sign or something that indicates which forest we're in or whatever. That might be helpful. <laughs> Question, how fast can I move a quarter mile down the road? Let's find out. Oh, there's a sign. Some sort of national forest or something. It's a Sisiku National Forest. I feel like we saw that one. Not like this one, Sisla. There's a K in this one. Here we go. Cascade Rogue River Sisiku National Forest. Okay, so it's somewhere in this area. Because we got this Sisiku Kyo. Where are you? Cave Junction? Pleasant Valley? Wolf Creek Park? I'm guessing it's not here. Yeah, it would seem to be. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh, Mountain Springs, Green Cabin Inn. Buddhist Center? That's kind of interesting. Dutchman Peak Lookout. Oregon Caves National Monument and Preserve. Well, one would think that the campground, right? It was a quarter mile down the road from where we were, so we're up here somewhere, I think. All right! I was within one kilometer Booyah! Not too shabby. All right. This is the last round for today, everyone. Then we're going to raid out. By the way, here are my socials. Check them out for some more fun. <laughs> some clips that are more fun than this. Oh, I just saw something on the map about a ski area. It's down here near where we were for the last round. Unless there's more than one that I'm not aware of. Let's see if we can find a, a sign that says where we are. Does that say Bachelor? Yep. Bachelor Ski and Sports. I figured it out myself, so that really didn't count for you helping me. <laughs> I mean, if you were to throw me, say, five bits or something, I could see my way clear to give you a shout-out. Bachelor, ski and sports, where in the Hellman's mayonnaise might that be? Am I still in Oregon? I am still in Oregon, right? There is Eugene, so it must be. Wow. 
wildlife safari? Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe if I can get out of this parking lot for just a second. <laughs> you gotta love Zoidberg and all his whooping. He is hilarious. Hello. What does this sign say over here? Is that something about parking or something? I can't read it on this side of the street. It's too damn blurry. Definitely in a snowy, mountainous area. Well, in the interest of time, I'm just going to hazard a guess. Let me see if there's a place here that just kind of like a road, maybe, that ends. Mount McLaughlin. That's kind of awesome. I like that. There was some sort of ski area somewhere around here that I saw, but now I'm no longer seeing it. Uh, Shady Cove. Sure, why not? How close was I? Hey, I got some new badges and stuff. Oh, nope. I was way off. It's way down south down here. No, I, I'm sorry. It's north. Way up north and east of Eugene, Oregon. All right. So that was my stream for today. Thank you all for joining in. And I uh, hope you enjoyed all the guessing and everything. Um... Join me back on Mondays for some more Immortals Phoenix Rising. We'll be having some fun with that, and we'll be doing some Jackbox games next Friday. I wish you all a good day and some good gaming. Let's raid. I feel like I raid him a lot, so Lofty. Let's find this person named Lofty. And by the way, you can check out this game for yourself. It's Kind of fun, if a bit frustrating at times. I'm going to raid someone named Lofty. Oh, and thanks for the follow. Wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you followed me. So guess what? That means that you get your shout out. <laughs> We're going to watch a, a short shout out. It doesn't seem that... They have much to shout out, but there you go. Ruby Magic 302. If they had an Eclipse, they'd be playing right here in the lower right-hand corner, but maybe they don't. Anyway, back to the raid of Lofty. I'm honestly surprised that Ruby hadn't followed me before, but... I guess they've never actually been in my chat before. See ya. Have a fantastic Friday. I love you all. Bye.